The DevExpress Theme Wheel provides a quick and easy way to create personalized themes for your WPF applications. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how easy it is to change the colors of an existing theme and personalize it to your very own. And the best part is we don't have to deal with XAML code or edit numerous color definitions. First, I'll create my new color scheme, and then I'll open the preview window along with the color wheel. Here we have a preview form set next to our theme wheel. I'm going to make some adjustments to the Office 2007 blue theme. This theme has two basic colors. Blue is a primary color and yellow is additionally used to indicate hot tracking or selection. To keep it simple, I'll use a two color scheme. You can adjust this by going to the color section and selecting two from the drop down list. Now our wheel only shows two circles highlighting our colors, one with the prevalence of blue tones and the other with shades of yellow. Colors are linked by default, so when I go to change one color, the other color automatically changes as well. We can change this by switching the rules below. I'll choose none so that I'm free to choose any two colors I like. Now I can adjust each color separately. As I slide through the color wheel, you can see the adjustments made immediately on my preview form. We also have the options to adjust the brightness, contrast, and saturation. I'll set my main color to gray and choose light magenta for the hot tracking and selection. As you can see to the left here, our application now has a neutral gray background, and as I move the mouse cursor, you can see the light magenta color appear for our selections. I'll click OK to complete the theme wheel and close the preview window. Then I click the Export to Theme button here and save it in the specified location. Once saved, a dialog appears where you can navigate to the Theme Project folder. Here, I open the Visual Studio Project and build my solution. Now I'll open a new project. By default, the grid is using the deep blue theme. I'm going to switch this over to our newly created theme. First, I'll add a reference to the theme assembly by going to the Solution Explorer right-clicking References and selecting Add Reference. Then click Browse and locate our assembly. Finally, I'll add a few lines of code in the Forms Constructor. This creates a theme instance, specifies the assembly name, registers the theme, and applies it to the current project. You can find this code in the WPF Theme Editor documentation. Now when I run the project again, you can see that our newly created theme has been applied. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.